Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and that notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be making a vintage stiletto boots lamp. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. We'll be starting off with foam board, and I already pre-cut my shoe size, and I'll have the stencil linked below. Next, I'll take my cutouts and I'll hold them evenly, and then I'll use my ruler to make sure they are even. And then I'll take my X-Acto knife and my ruler and start from the middle and start cutting grooves. And remember not to cut so deep. All I did was place a heavy item in the front, place one in the back, and then I started applying hot glue in between the grooves. For all DIY requests, follow me on Instagram. Next, I'll be using black glitter paper, and I traced this stencil on the back side, and then I cut it out and created two soles and then I'll be gluing them on top of the shoe. And keep in mind, the more you glue onto both shoes, the stronger they will get. Next, I'll be working with two black plastic wire baskets and I'll be cutting off the top rim and bottom rim on both. Because the plastic is very strong on the baskets, I'll be using meat cutters to cut off the rims, but you may also use wire cutters or sharp scissors. Next, I use the same scissors to cut them open. Next, I took one of the shoes and I wrapped the fencing around it to see how much I would need to cut off. Once I had my correct measurements, I cut off the remaining of the fencing that I would not be using. Because this fencing does hold its shape, I'll take it and wrap it tightly and then I'll use zip ties to hold it in place. And I'll be using three. Because the edges are sharp, I'll be using my bending tool to bend the edges in.
Once I was done, I'll take one and glue it onto the edge of the shoe only halfway. Next, take the shoe, slide it in, hold it in place until the glue is dry, and I'll be using my wire cutters to cut around the edges. And if you can't tell by now, this is the top part of the boots. All the steps you see me doing, I'll be repeating the same steps on the second boot. Next I'll apply hot glue on the lower part edges of the boot and then I'll take the remaining fence and hold it in place until dry. If you decide to recreate this DIY, just remember to imagine how a boot or a shoe would fit you. To form the bottom part of the shoe, I'll be using my meat cutters to cut off the remaining fencing. I'll be using my bending tool to bend under the sharp edges. And to form the lower part of the boot, all I'm going to do is squeeze it in a little bit and then take my bending tool, go in between the spaces, squeeze together, and the boot will start forming by itself. Repeat the same steps until you are satisfied with the shape, and yes, the boot stands by itself. Next, I'll be using more of the metallic silver straws, and I'll be cutting them into different lengths, and I'll be using these straws to start forming the heels on both boots. This part can be a little bit tricky and challenging, so all I did was start gluing the straws from the bottom stem, and I'll be working my way up in a staggering position until I reach the heel. I did not give sizes of the cut straws because this will depend on how long you will want your straws to be. Use your better judgment. You guys know that I am a big sucker for something unique and different, and when creating the heel, all I kept thinking about was Lady Gaga. I will continue gluing on my straws by adding glue onto the golf ball and I'll be applying the straws as straight as I can. I have spaces in between the straws so I'll be using small little pieces of straws to fill in to give it some dimension. To cover up the edges I'll be using single strips of mosaic tiles and I'll be gluing them on even though they are self-adhesive. Next, I'll be using metallic silver braided sequins, and I'll be gluing it from the front, going into the center, and all the way to the side in a wave pattern. Keep in mind to use a generous amount of hot glue when gluing on the sequins onto the boot. I also add a sequence on the top edge. Next I'll be using small acrylic diamonds. Next I'll be using my bending tool to hold my diamonds while I glue them in place. I'll be applying a drop of hot glue and I'll start from the front part of the boot and work my way on the sides all the way to the top. When applying the diamonds, I'll be applying them spread out and not close together. We'll only be applying the diamonds on one side of each boot where it divides with the wave. Next, I'll take a piece of hula hoop tube that I had laying around the house and I'll cut it to size. Next, I cover the tube with black glossy contact paper. Next, I apply hot glue. And I place the tube underneath the boot and this will help elevate the boot when displayed. Next I'll be using a 14 inch plate and a 10 inch round mirror and I'll glue the mirror on the back side of the plate. 
This will be the base for the lamp. I also took a strong tube and covered it with the same black contact paper. Here I'm just displaying how everything will look using my strongest glue. I'll be using this lamp shade and I'll have other DIY videos linked below on how I make them. And for lighting I use one remote LED touch light. And here's the finished look. This is such a beautiful and stunning unique lamp. With the proper lighting and placement it will be a showstopper in that perfect room in your home. Let's not forget the beautiful shimmering and lighting that will bring into that special area and room in your home. This lamp will be perfect for yourself or as a gift for that special glam queen. Here are two other DIYs where I use the same baskets to create beautiful lamps and I'll have these linked below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.